new fear. <laughs> Looks like I found something you're afraid of. Let's bring on the pain. Let's bring on the noise. Communion After Dark. I'm walking 
picturesque scenes You descend all the way to the end Cause it's your soul Nearly closed like coal It never takes fire
communionafterdark.com and I'm DJ Griffin and that was brand new Chain Reactor with a song Gas Panic from their CD called The Silence and the Noise. What are you laughing at, Griffin? Gas Panic. That's a cool name for a song, huh? Gas Panic, yeah. Yeah. That's like when you're in a crowded theater and, and a bunch of people fart. <laughs> It's gas exactly, panic. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. So, and then prior to that, yeah, prior to, or maybe on a school bus, it might be better. Yeah. Um, prior to that, Bryant played Signosic with their song One Last Time. And that is off their brand new CD called Fire and Forget. Really good CD from first listening, or li- the first listen caught my ear. Yeah, I totally agree. It's uh, a CD you definitely want to check out if you like the darker electro. After that, we heard, uh, how do you pronounce that band? Anestatine? A steadish is what we've been saying. A steadish. A steadish. And the song was called Transient States. And that's from the Night Knocked Burner. Burner. That kind of sounds like uh, Panic Gas, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Knock, knock Burner? Yeah. Butts on the burner? So, yeah, a steadish. That's a new EP on Alpha Matrix, by the way. Yeah, good stuff on there. And prior to that, we heard Ghost and Rider with a song, Never Take Fire. That's the secret re- rework. And that's, uh, well, Tom, that's a download? Yeah, it's a free download from uh, Ghost and Rider's website. Very cool remix. You got three remixes on there. There's a fourth one available, but that's only on the physical copy. That was limited to like 60-some copies, and that's gone. So go to the website and get your digital copy for free. Very cool. And prior to that was Faderhead with a song free from their new CD, F4. He loves numbering his CDs. It's fart four. <laughs> uh, good stuff, though. Yeah. And by the way, as you can tell, Tom Gold's back. He's back for a show. All right. Tom is back. That's right. He's been AWOL for a while. Sherry uh, bailed on us. She went to a watermelon convention in uh, Dunedin today. I thought it was a Rosa Parks meeting. (laughs) Oh, no, no. All right. So anyways, we're... (laughs) Jesus. This show has really gone off the deep end. Um, All right. So we got our shot of the week, and um, this is called a Mexican shark. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, Mexican shark. Oh, thank you. It looks like Rommel and Ale. Mexican panic gas. It may have Mexican panic gas, yeah. All right. (laughs) All right. Carbonated by farting in it. Oh, perfect. (laughs) Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Rommel and Ale. Hell yeah. Or in Dorian. No drink, you drink. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Pretty tasty. A little bit like cough syrup, though, but... Oh, really? I didn't think so. I thought it was actually pretty tasty. It's not bad. It's got kind of a deep burn towards the end. All right, so we want to... Um, I want to make a few announcements here. We want to thank um, people for donations this week, definitely, because, of course, without you, the show would not be happening. Well, it, it might be happening, but it wouldn't be worth doing. So, um, donations. Thank you, um, St- Stacy and Buck Snort, who are from Tampa. For, oh, I know them. Yeah, you, yeah, Tom knows them. Yeah, they're nice people. They're from the club in Tampa here. Go to the castle, and thank you so much. And uh, we also got a donation from Maria Demirs from Minnesota. Minnesota, which is really cool. Thank you so much. And uh, she actually made a request, which will be played on our upcoming All Request show. And we also got a donation from Dennis Alfeller. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but thank you, Dennis, for the donation. Much appreciated. And um, also wanted to thank people who've been commenting on our Facebook because as I I know I asked you so I want to make sure that I acknowledge that um, you know we did get some comments we got one actually from somebody in Rom- Romania which was really cool I thought um, her name's Margaret and she told us to learn better German <laughs> yeah we've been working on that for what five years what's wrong with our German Margaret <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful yeah our German's great come on now and then um, also got a uh, comment from Hans um, Yendel, not Grendel, but Yendel. And he's also from Germany. Well, he is from Germany, I should say. And he listens to our show, and he loves Maus, who, um, well, I guess we'll have to let Maus know that, or I'm sure she'll see it when she looks at the Facebook. And then um, we also got a comment from Christopher Favorite. Christopher Favorite, kind of an interesting name. And he uh, he found us on iTunes just, uh, I guess, recently. So thank you, Christopher. And thanks to everybody who's been donating. Please keep that going. And um, remember, uh, the donation drive is going right now. Our new shirts are up on the um, Facebook and our website on the front page. The new design is up there. And uh, we are going to be making those shirts hopefully within the next two weeks. But we want to try and get some donations. And then if you want a shirt, please give me an idea what size you need. Otherwise, I will send you a message and I'll ask because I need to have an idea if you really want one. That way we know what we're ordering. Um, and then on top of that, I guess there's not much else to say except for we have a guest DJ coming up here soon. He will be here soon with us from level 2.0 and we're happy to have him. Mike Hoffman. 
And, oh, you want to announce the release party, Tom or Bryant? Yes. Next week at the Castle Saturday, what was that, the 23rd? For yes. The, the yeah. 23rd? We're going to be doing a Gentleman Junkie CD release party hosted by uh, DJ Kristen, a.k.a. Man Meat. We'll be up there spinning and we'll have plenty of giveaways. Yeah, I heard some CDs and T-shirts, right? Yep. Yeah, so if you have not heard Gentleman Junkie, um, you definitely need to check that out. The album's coming out very soon on no, Negative it, Game. It's actually, actually, it's out now. Oh, okay. You can get it on Bandcamp now, and then they'll send you the CD afterwards. You need to get the digital, digital up front. Oh, cool. So it's out. So definitely check that out on Bandcamp and buy the Gentleman Junkie CD. Very cool and uh, very good album. So uh, anything else? Or are we going back to the music? Right? I think we're ready. Great. What are you playing? Uh, well, I already Tom. played. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about Tom? Starting off with brand new Mellotron. This is Communion After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Tom Gold.
Welcome back to CommunityAfterDark.com. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard a band called Terracide, and that is a side project of Vault 113 that we used to play on the show, and the song is called Psychonautic, Psychonautic, and that's the Vault 113 remix from the Doom of Decadence CD out digitally on Amazon. Okay, and then prior to that, Tom played Gentleman Junkie. As we mentioned earlier, there's a CD release party coming up at the castle next week for Gentleman Junkie. That's on the 23rd and at the castle in Tampa, Ybor City. And that was their song Shivoham or Shivoham. I don't know how you pronounce that, so I'm not even... Whatever. And that's... um, Yeah. That's from the, uh, well, Tom doesn't have it down here, but I believe it's the oh, self-titled... Soul to Soul. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> it's almost like start over. Gentleman Junkie Shivoham, and that was from their Soul to Soul CD, and that is the Kaborkin Death Cycle remix, which again is on Negative Gain. All right, Brian, what did he play before that? That was, believe it or not, OMD from the 80s. Wow. With the song Metroland from their release called Metroland. One of the best bands ever. Then we heard a brand new Informatic with a song called How Long from the How Long EP. Then I start off with a brand new Mellotron with a song called Stuck in the Mirror from the Stuck in the Mirror CD single out on Out of Line Records. Isn't Mark Roberts stuck in the mirror? Oh my God, Tom, get away from the microphone. <laughs> All right, so, and then I uh, want to uh, remind you that coming up next is our special guest DJ and um, special guest, period, Mike Hoffman from Level 2.0. And um, he will be playing some music for you. And then, of course, uh, we'll be talking to him about his music as well. And then as well, keep in mind that, which I don't think we've mentioned yet, there's a concert coming up here in Ybor City with Level 2.0 and Utsuts and Sinai Regime on the 27th of April at the Orpheum. you, you got to come out to the show because both at Level 2.0 and Utsuts are from New York. So come on out. You might see him lock up or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, wear your favorite New York sports team jersey. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so um, we're going back to the music, and uh, stay tuned. Bye. Hi, this is Ronan from PMV Nation, and you're listening to CommunionAfterDark.com.
do crazy things, insane things. Can't help it. Doing. This is Mike Hoffman from Level 2.0, and you just heard Providence by Level 2.0. And before that, uh, my new side project, Saviors Among Us. Uh, the song is called Vanish, 
And before that, uh, Long Island band, Candy Brain. I did a remix for them just recently. Uh, the song was called The Asylum. I call that the Guibiem mix. And to start the set off, I have another side project called Forced Intention with Jeremy Frey of Pennsylvania. And he did a kick-ass remix of Elevate, so I figured let's kick the set off with that one. You got uh, some interesting stuff going on here. Uh, can you give us a little bit of background on each of these tracks and how they came about? Especially your side projects, too. Alright, well, what we kicked it off with was Elevate, and uh, I just put out an EP in the fall. And uh, I had a few different artists do um, a few remixes, and one of them was Forced Intention, which is I'm a part of actually as my side project. And Jeremy Frey, he's got more of a electro edge, but when he did this remix, it was more future pop. It had more of a, the sound that fits like VME Nation and stuff like that. And it was just such a great remix, even though it was a little different from what he normally does. It was by far the best remix that I got for Elevate so far. With that, Candy Brain, that's a band from Long Island that's just starting off. Uh, Eric Eltridge of uh, Interface is actually uh, producing their first EP, I believe. Um, and then I got the side project right now, Saviors Among Us. Basically, uh, I do all the music and I have a bunch of different artists from all over the world contribute in uh, duets. When do you expect the release for that? I'm halfway done with the album, so I would say I'm just waiting on vocals from a few artists, and uh, probably by the end of the year. Can you give us a little background on Level 2.0 and how that all came about? Or is, it, is it 2.0 or 2.0? Oh, yeah. Uh, you can pronounce it however you want. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> the, the, reason, the reason we said it, uh, 2.0, it was just a thing between me and uh, the guy I originally started with, uh, my, my old best friend, Matt basically started level 2.0 in 2005 and I kind of went on without him basically in the beginning of last year because he kind of had different endeavors with his DJing and stuff so I kind of just taken the project over and just you know pretty much do it all myself so and and your um, previous CDs were all on if I'm not mistaken Nalaya records but you're now going to be releasing stuff going forward on probably your own label? Is that correct? Uh, when I originally started, uh, me and Matt, we started under our own uh, release as Nemesis Music. And then in about 2009, we signed on to Nalaya Records and basically we're coming to the end of that contract. And by the time I get my new album out, the contract will pretty much be over. So I'll probably be releasing it a little after this year. So definitely going to be self-releasing it. All right, so a couple more questions, then we're, we'll move on here. But I want to ask you, Jason Anderson, I know you know Jason because he's promoting you. So what do you got to say about Jason? I mean, I, we've he's he's actually been really cool with Engrave Ritual. You know, we played some of his stuff. He's given us some stuff. He's a really nice guy. So um, I, I heard he's actually doing, like, promotions for you now. Jason's a cool guy. I met him in Texas. Uh, he bought Armageddon from me when I was at the stand. And... Uh, He's been a big supporter of uh, Level 2.0. I've actually been on his radio show a few times. And uh, basically in the last few months, uh, he's been taking over a PR for me. And uh, he helped me uh, release my Rarities album, Armageddon Casualties, which is available on Bandcamp, uh, level2.0.bandcamp.com for all you guys out there. And uh, definitely helped me... Uh, Put it out and it's reaching he, he definitely reaches a different more electro side of the scene but you know and i don't i i love it all it's it's awesome if we reach uh, n you know new new ears that's great yeah yeah he's got more of a harsher sound and one other thing we want to uh, hit on well of course we really appreciate you coming in here definitely because you've been around for a while and it's nice that you're now in tampa um you are playing a show in a month well a little over a month i guess with Oots Oots and, or Oots Oots or whatever the hell you call your name, your band, Nick. And then, um, <laughs> sorry, Nick. And then, um, pretzels. yeah, pretzels. And then Distraub. And um, we'll also have uh, Sinai Regime from um, the Florida area playing. So you, we're looking forward to having you guys there. Are you and uh, Bam, whoever's on stage, maybe Nick, maybe somebody else, but it'll be fun. So looking forward to going to Ebor and playing the show. Oh, yeah, definitely looking to bring my uh, Gweebiam sound here. <laughs> I know uh, I definitely bring a different energy to the to the stage than what you normally will hear from a typical EBM industrial band. But, you know, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, I mean, I've seen the scene down here when I've been to the castle. So, I mean, it, you guys got great turnout down here. It looks awesome. Definitely looking forward to it. I know Ututs is going to definitely kick ass. I've seen Sinai Regime at uh, Texas at the Terabyte uh, Festival. They kick ass. Uh, Alex, 
he's got that glitch break thing he's doing with his app and he's going to be uh, all improvising that live so that's going to be very interesting to see and uh, Alex actually just put a little plug out there he's doing all my production work for uh, my new album so Mike we really appreciate you coming in and um, we actually played your band on the show a few times in the past so hopefully some people have checked you out prior to this but if not definitely check out his stuff that was on Nahila or Nalaya whatever and then um and then uh, anything that's coming out here in the future, too. So you got something else you want to say before we go? Yeah, definitely check us out at level2.0.bandcamp.com if you are interested in getting our unreleased rarities album. And uh, guibm.webstarts.com. That's G-U-I-B-M dot W-E-B-S-T-R-T-S dot com. All right, so um, we want to thank Mike again, and we're going back to the music. We're done, and I am next, and uh, you'll be hearing me start off with Cankino. Come back. Don't go away. Bye. This is Communion After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Paradise.
scenes you can see your name up in the lights every day it's a different dream staring out of your magazine you could buy that face you'd be the perfect wife You pay, cause they won't
right, we're back at Coming After Dark. You just heard uh, Blue Ingo with their song, All These Lies, and that is off their new CD, Monument. A little uh, dubstep in the, towards the end of that song, too, from Blue Ingo of all bands. Definitely one of my favorite albums out right now, by the way. Not, not a big surprise there, but... All right, and prior to that, you heard Mesh with a song, You Want What's Owed, and that's from uh, the release Automation Baby. By the way, that is, uh, since Brian didn't tell you, that's actually a brand new album by Mesh, and um, very good. Of course, if you, if you don't like Mesh, that's a shame. Are yeah, you going to be able to read this one, Tom? Oh, <laughs> I can suck with the big one, let's see. Yeah. All right, we heard, then you heard wow. Gruesome, Twosome, Talker, Luger, Ali Fulu Dishu. <laughs> oh, my God. Let, let me, I guess, try. I, I don't think either any of us would be able to announce this one, but the band's name is Grosome Toster, and that's the song Luja, or Luga. Luga? I don't know, something, whatever, I don't know. But it's off the Alis, Alis Fjordish, um CD, which is on Scanner, by the way, um, records out of Germany. So cool CD. It's actually a girl front of band, which is kind of interesting. She's real crazy on stage. So uh, check out some of her YouTube videos. And then prior to that, I played one of my, probably my favorite album right now, um, as uh, Kent Kino with their song Freezing. And that is from the Father Worked in Industry CD. Interesting title, but um, very good CD, by the way. Can't Kino, you can't go wrong with that band if you hadn't heard their first CD on Alpha Matrix. Pick that one up as well. And um, I guess we got nothing really much more to say except for thanks for Mike Hoffman for coming in and doing the show with us. Uh, thanks for Tom Gold for showing up again, coming out of the toilet for about one week. <laughs> He'll be back in the toilet next week. I will also be back next week, I'm sure. Um, and then two weeks from now, we actually have Casey Baldwin coming into the studios from um, Sinai Regime and from whatever else he's doing right now. But he'll be here. <laughs> Not Tom. <laughs> so he'll be here anyways in a few weeks. And um, we are finishing off with my uh, final song, which is from 2007. is Plastic with their song Lies and off their Black Colors CD. Very good CD, by the way. I don't know what ever happened to Plastic because that was the last CD they ever released. But um, the album is actually very good. If you never heard that CD... Pick it up. It sounds a lot like Summer's 23. Remember we saw Plastic in Germany? Yes. Yeah. Guy who's in Plastic was actually the guy behind the band Snarf, which is a power noise type band. It disappeared too. Yeah, they disappeared as well. So I don't know what he's doing. But um, very good CD, by the way. So if you haven't heard it, go check it out. Bye.
Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. Oh, 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 oh.